بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم and very good morning to my dear student by your maths teacher Ms. Rida Asif. So my dear students, your monthly is going to be started. So for that purpose, today we are going to review of chapter 11 that is geometry. Okay, now I hope you all are having your books and notebooks in front of you. So let's begin with the basics. Point. A point has no dimension, right? It is denoted by a small dot. Okay, it is denoted by a small dot. Here you can see there is a small dot. And it is named by the capital letter of the alphabet. Okay. For example, capital A, capital B, capital C. Now, collinear points and non-collinear points. When the point lie, here point 1, point 2 and point 3. Point A, B and C. These three points lie on a same line. They are called collinear points. And when the points do not lie on the same line that means we cannot draw a single line on these points am i right these are called non-collinear points okay now what about a straight line what is a straight line a straight line is a set of points okay here you can see that there is a straight line. It is a set of point. It has one dimension that is called the length. It has only one dimension. Right? It can be denoted by this two arrowheads over there. Two arrowhead means that it can be extended in both the directions. It can be extended in both the direction. Now, what about line segment? If A and B are any two points, for example, if I take the two points like this point A and point B, okay, and if I unite these two points, so the line formed between these two points is called a line segment. So if A and B are any two points, then the union of A, B and all points between them is called a line segment. Now it is denoted by AB and here you can see that a line containing no arrows. No arrow means that it cannot extend in any direction. Okay, it cannot extend in any direction or you can say that it has two endpoints. Okay, two endpoints means that it cannot extend. Sahi? Iske do endpoints hain, A and B. It cannot extend more. Ye aage nahi pad pai, right? So a line segment has two endpoints. And what about the straight line? Straight line having no endpoints. Here you can see that two arrows here. So uh, what about straight line? It has no endpoints. And what about line segment? It has two endpoints. Right? Now, what about a ray? If there is a line segment and if this line segment extend in one direction. Okay? If it extend in this direction or you can say that if the line segment extend in this direction. Right? So this becomes a ray. Okay, a line segment extend indefinitely in one direction. It is called a ray. And how can we denote the ray? We can denote a ray by one arrowhead. One arrowhead means it can extend in one direction. Okay, clear? What about straight line? It can extend in both the direction. What about ray? It can extend in one direction direction clear everybody now 
we know that what is a plane it is a flat surface how many points required to determine a geometrical figure we need at least three points one two three at least three points are and how three points non collinear points we need at least three non collinear point why it is written at least because minimum we require three non collinear points okay now here one two three four non collinear points are there to draw a quadrilater so at least minimum we require three points to draw any geometrical figure coplanar lines okay if i draw if i draw in this plane it's a plane surface right if i draw a lines in a same plane they are called coplanar lines so what about coplanar lines if i draw so the line that lie in a same plane are called coplanar lines parallel lines and intersecting lines parallel lines and intersecting lines okay sanya now what about now okay now look at the now look at the parallel lines diagram carefully here between these two parallel lines the distance is same so two parallel lines having same distance between them and what about intersecting lines they have the distance is same what what do you think about this the distance is same no so if the distance is different between two lines they are called intersecting lines okay now parallel lines they do not intersect each other if i draw if i extend these parallel lines we can see that they do not intersect anywhere okay and what about intersecting lines they intersect at a single point called o here right now how can i write symbolically parallel lines here straight line ab is parallel this is a symbol for parallel lines parallel to cd right now collinear rays and non collinear rays when two rays lie on a same line when two rays lie on a same line they are called collinear rays here this is ray 1 oa right and this is ray 2 ob when these two rays lie on the same line they are called collinear and here ray ab and cd is there when they are when they do not lie on the same line they are called non collinear rays okay if i join a ray ab and cd together what it will be form it will form an angle okay it will form an angle like this okay so what will be the definition of an angle the union of two non collinear right non collinear and concurrent concurrent that lie on a same line okay that intersect together two rays when intersect each other that join together they are called concurrent okay now what about non collinear that do not lie on a same line okay so if there is ray 1 okay this is ray 1 and how can i draw a non collinear ray this is ray 2 so two non collinear rays and concurrent they meet at a single point they form an angle right so how many kinds of angles are there so here you can see that we are going to start discussing the kinds of angle this angle is called 90 degree or you can say that right angle now when angle is less than 90 degree 
it is called acute angle when angle is of 90 degree it is called the right angle right now what about this it is 90 degree angle it is called the right angle when an angle is greater than 90 and less than 180 like this it is called obtuse angle and when an angle is of 180 degree it is called straight angle now when the angle is greater than 180 and less than 360 okay greater than 180 like this and less than 360 like this it is called reflex angle and when the angle is of 360 that means a complete angle a complete rotation it is called a complete angle it is called a complete angle now what about complementary and supplementary two angles two angles having some of two angles having some is 90 degree here you can see that two angles 60 and 30 sum is equals to 90 that means they are called complementary angle 60 is a complement of 30 and what about supplementary supplementary means two angles having sum equals to 180 degree two angles having sum equals to 180 degree they are called supplementary angles okay adjacent angles now here, look at the diagram carefully. The students here, two angles are there, angle one and angle two. Both angles are sharing the same vertex called B and a common arm A, B, D. Okay, so these two angles are called adjacent angle, sharing the same vertex and sharing the common arm. So two angles having same vertex and one common arm are called adjacent angles. Okay, now what about the vertical angles? Here, two intersecting lines. When two intersecting lines are there, so the opposite pair of angle form are called vertical angle. Okay? For example, here two intersecting lines are there. So, 1, 3 is a vertical angle, is a pair of vertical angle. And 2, 4 is another pair of vertical angle. Important propositions about parallel line. Subhana, this is chapter 11, geometry. Okay. Now, student, important proposition about parallel lines. Now, look at the diagram carefully, bete. Here, two parallel lines are there. Okay? Line AB and line CD. These are the straight lines. Why they are called the straight line? Because there are two arrowheads. Right? Two arrowhead means they can extend in both the directions. Now, if two coplanar lines that lie in a same plane intersected by the transversal. What is called the transversal here? PQ is called the transversal. Transversal. PQ is a transversal. What is the meaning of transversal? Transversal means that intersects two or more parallel lines together. Okay. Just like look at the uh, PQ line. It intersect AB and CD. Okay? So, it is called a transversal. Now, how many angles are formed? When a transversal intersects two parallel lines, how many angles are formed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8 angles are formed. In which 3, 4, 5 and 6 are called interior angles are called the interior they are called the here you can see that they are called the interior angles 
okay and 1 2 8 1 2 and 7 they are called exterior angles clear everybody they are called interior and exterior angles very good aisha excellent bete now what about the alternate angles okay so we are going to discuss one by one first of all we are going to discuss about alternate angles alternate angles are both interior okay interior and both are on the opposite side of the transversal they are not adjacent now let's discuss now both are interior that means this part will be included right both are on the opposite side of the transversal that means 4 will be paired with 6 okay as they are not adjacent to they are on the opposite side of the transversal so alternate 4 will be paired with 6 and 3 will be paired with 5 Okay, three will be paired with five. Now, what about allied angles? Very good, Radha. Now, what about allied angles? Now, both are interior angles, and both are on the same side of the transversal. Now, interior angles. That means only the inner part is included. Okay, Sanya. Only the inner part is included, and both are on the same side of the transversal. Here you can see that this is the transversal PQ. So both will be on the same side. That means four, five, three, and six. Four, five, three, and six. Yes, Sharoz. Yes, Aisha. Absolutely correct. Now, what about corresponding angles, my dear? Corresponding angles. One of them is interior, and another is exterior. Okay. Now look at this carefully. One is interior, one is exterior. That means exterior, interior, interior, exterior. They are on the same side of the transversal. Okay. They are on the same side of transversal. So one will be paired with five. Four will be paired with eight. Now what about two? Two will be paired with six. Two will be paired with six, and three will be paired with seven. Okay. Absolutely right. Yes, Sheroz, you're right. Now. Now, Bitte, what about the vertical angle? If I ask you that, how can the vertical angles will be formed? How can the vertical angle will be formed? Here you can see that these two lines are intersecting each other. Am I right? So one, three, two, four. Two pairs of vertical angles are formed over here. Now, what about these two lines? Okay, let's consider these two lines as as the intersecting lines. So five seven and six eight are the vertical angles. Clear? Is it clear, Adin? Is it clear, Abdullah Shahid? Is it clear? Yes, Alishba sir, for us. Is it clear? good now find the value of x in the given diagram okay how can i find the value of x in the given diagram now from the diagram you can see that here x and 3x is written right here two angles are there and if i add these two angles i get an angle 180 degree Okay, that means what is the reason behind it? According to supplementary angle. According to supplementary angles, from this definition of supplementary angles, we know that 
x plus 3x is equals to 180 degree. Okay. Two angles having sum equals to 180 degree are called supplementary angles. Now here, we want to find the value of x. Here, x is equal, here, no coefficient is there, so there is 1. So 1 plus 3 is equals to 4. And we get 4x, right? 1 plus 3, 4, and then x. 4x is equals to 180. Here, I want to find the value of x. So 4 is multiplying with x. 4 is multiplying with x. When it is moved to the right hand side, it will going to be divided with 180. Okay? We get 180 divided by 4. So 4 ones are 4. 4 fours are 16. Right? And 4 fives are 20. Right? So I get x is equals to 45 degree. Now what about... Next question, find the angles marked by the letter. We have to find the angle marked by the letter in the given diagram. Okay, now we have to find the angle A. Okay, and give the reason for your answer. Reason means by which angle we are finding the value. Now look at the diagram carefully, Bitte. Here, these two lines intersect each other. Here, these two lines intersect each other. So, angle A and this 45 will be equal. Why? Because according to vertical angles, when two lines intersect, the opposite pairs form are equal. Here, the opposite pairs are A and 45. So, we get A is equals to 45. Okay. When we get the value of A, we can easily find the value of 2A. How can we find it? 2A is equals to 2. What is the value of A? What is the value of A? A is equals to 45. So just put the value of A here. 2 45s are 90. So we get 2A is equals to 90 degree. Right? So here, First, we have to mention that what is the reason of A is equals to 45. So, the reason is according to vertical angles. Now, I hope that everything is clear to you. Everything is clear, my dear? Yes, Asba, everything is clear? Good, Aisha. So now it's my turn to ask the question. Ready, everybody? So, do as directed. Write the complement of 40 degree. Question number one. Now I want Asba Munavar, Manahil, Meer Arham, to solve the question and share your answers quickly. Manahil. Meer Arham. Question number one. So, Betty, in this way, you will get your monthly paper. It will be MCQs based. You can get, you will get the, choose the correct answers. You have to select the correct option. First, you have to solve it and you have to take the correct option. Okay. You can also get the true-false, okay? You have to read the statement carefully and then you have to tick on whether the statement is true or is it false. Okay. Here I have asked the question from Manahil, Asba and Meer Arham. I got the answer from Sheroz, Aisha, Asya, we take quickly share your answers, everybody. Afra Vajahar, are you there with me?
Yes, Noseba. Noseba and Abdullah both are raising their hands. Yes, Abdullah, what is the question, Bide? Okay, Talha. Talha, can you share your roll number as well? Bide, whenever you are joining the class, Bide, mention your name. Please rename yourself first before joining the class. Okay? Abdullah, you can uh, ask the question in the chat box. So, I get the answer from Meer Arham also by Kainat, but Asba and Manahil. Bitte, aap logo ne answer nahi diya abhi tak. You are not giving me the answers. Why? So, let's discuss answer number one is 50 degree. Very good. Answer number two. I want here Sanya Salim and M. Ahmad Hassan to please share their answer of question number two. Please share your answers. Abdullah, it will... It will be just like your CT test, CT quiz test, but it will be of 25 marks. Number of questions will be increased. It will not be conducted during my online class. Okay, Abdullah? It will be uploaded on my Google Classroom page. You will have one day. Okay? You have... I have given you 24 hours. I will give you 24 hours to complete that quiz of monthly test. Yes, Sanya. Okay. So, next answer is 60 degree, not 160, Bitte. We have to subtract, Sanya, we have to subtract here. We have to subtract 180 minus 120. Okay? So we get 60, not 160. Is it clear? Now what about the question number 3, my dear? Question number 3. Share your answers. Subhana Noman, share your answer, Bitte. I want the participation of each and every student As I am giving you the grades for your answers. Okay? So, be brave and share your answers. What about answer number three? Answer number three is... Ula is sharing the answer. Answer number three is yes. Answer number three, yes, you are right. It is 60 degree. Right? Now, what about four? Question number four, exactly, you are right. Y is equals to 130 degree. Why? Why Y is equals to 130 degree? I want this answer from M. Ahmad Hassan. Ahmad Hassan, why y is equals to 130 degree, bitte? Yes, Abdullah Shahid. You want to give me the answer? And Subhana, quickly share your answer. Why y is equals to 130 degree? Very good, because they are vertical angle. Excellent, Abdullah. Now, what about question number five? 
question number five. Very good, Ola. We get the answer. Number five is equals to x is equals to three twenty because it's according to complete angle. Three sixty minus forty degrees equals to three twenty. Now, state whether the statement is true and or false. Right? Number one, a point has one dimension. True or false? Amna maksud. Quickly tell me, this is true or false? Quickly, bete. Amna maksud. I want the answer from you. A point has one dimension. A point has one dimension. Amna, I want this answer from you. Quickly share your answer. Excellent class. You all are participating, but I'm asking the question here. Amna, where are you, bete? What happened? So, yes, Anam, I want answer number two from you. So, you are absolutely right that a point has, what about a point? A point has no dimension. So, it is false. Excellent. What about number two? Anam Zafar, yes. Very good, Bitty. Number two, a straight line has one endpoint. Again, it is false. What about number three? Amna, you are not sharing any answer with me. Two angles having same vertex and common arm are called, are called adjacent angle. Subhana, why it is false, Bitty? It's absolutely correct. So we get it true. But in this way, Abdullah, in this way, you can get the true false in your Google, in your monthly test. Okay. You have to select, you have to read the statement and you have to select that whether the statement is true or false. Okay. Now, I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. But let me show you your book pages. This is page 151. In this way, you can highlight your important points. Here, this is a definition of points, straight lines, collinear point, line segment, plane, coplanar lines, parallel lines. Okay. You can highlight the important points like this, like me. This is the definition of ray, collinear ray, non-collinear rays on page 152, okay? Just highlight these definition properly, okay? This is page 153 and 154. Here, angles and kinds of angles are there with their diagrams. And on page 154, you can see the parallel lines and intersecting lines, okay? What about Playfair axiom? Okay. Playfair axiom, two intersecting lines cannot be parallel to third line. Here you can see the pa uh, two parallel intersecting lines, AB and PS. Okay. Two intersecting lines cannot be parallel to third line. Okay. That means here these two intersecting lines cannot be parallel to CD. Okay. This type of questions can come in true false or in the choose the correct answers like that. Two dash lines cannot be parallel to third line. Okay, I will give you some options and you have to select the correct option. So read out the definitions, the axioms carefully. So this is exercise 11.1. Fill in the blanks and choose the correct answers. Adjacent angle. Complementary, supplementary, mark the important points like this on page 156. Okay. Now on page 157, important propositions are given to you of alternate corresponding allied angles. 
ओके बेटे नाउ एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट टू इज देर ओके and keep remember this that question 9 is not included okay question 9 is not included in your syllabus right so this is all for today i hope that today's lecture is properly clear to you is there any question left my dear students yes is there any question left i hope you can easily find these all angles look at the question number 5 carefully bete can you share your answers with me of question number 5 quickly here find the angle marked by the letter in the given diagram give the reason for your answers now here can you share the reasons for these angles look at the question number 1 carefully here two angles when i add these two angles what will the sum i get first i have to mention that according to which angles yes shareos according to look at the question number 5 part 1 here according to complementary angle excellent according to right angle nahi according to complementary angle x plus 30 is equals to 90 now what about 2 what about bit 2 bit number 2 no subhana because monthly is going to be started i want you all to prepare yourself properly okay subhana now what about number 2 can you please share your answers right now nuseba amna maqsood i am calling your name again and M Talha, please share your answer quickly. According to, yes, very good. According to supplementary angles. Excellent, Betty. Now I hope that today's lecture is properly clear to you. Just take care of yourself. Thank you so much, and Allah Hafiz.